Hi, so um, it's very windy and today is sheep keeping out of fields day because we've got loads of sheep that keep ratching and we're, it's not good. So I just thought I'd show you this as well that's been collected. These are your lovely little balloons that uh, fly over and land um, in the fields and the animals possibly eat them and choke and die. But anyway, hey ho. So yeah, so we've got some fencing gear. So we've got a mallet, a post knocker, and we've got a wire thing. So me and Elliot uh, are going down on the barbed wire and we're gonna put a top wire on top of the stone wall. And um, hopefully the sheep will keep out of the neighbors because we don't wanna be upsetting neighbors anymore. So the sheep in this field, um, we're trying to save this field for lambing time. And for some unknown reason, there's still, I don't know if you can see David over there with the Merlot, hang on. Maybe it's right over there. He's actually putting some posts in because to keep jumping into the neighbor's garden. Um, don't know why. And uh, yeah, the walls up, it's just the, uh, the top wire. the walls up as you can see wait a minute the walls up but the yows are still trying to um jump over the top of it and they're getting into this into our neighbor's garden so what we're doing we're putting some high posts up and then we're going to put a wire at the top like a barbed wire at the top to stop them actually jumping the wall so the posts uh what we're using for the top wall top wall wiring they're about there's elliot doing a little uh training yeah so they're about seven foot it's probably too long but this is what we're going to use um we've got some more in there and then we'll put the wire on the top so david's just making a hole before he um puts the post in the biggest problem is around here is especially when you're next to a, a stone wall you, you're hitting stone so it becomes a bit of an issue trying to get the posts in And also we've got lots of twigs, so I think I might do a twig job, picking up some twigs while these two are doing this. Oh, they have knocked some wall down there, little monkeys, where Elliot is. So this is the part of the wall what they're using as a step. They've literally, they're kind of running up it from this sort of area here up there and using that as a bit of a step. So, and they're starting to pull this part down. So this hopefully will last a little bit longer. We'll not have to take this apart. But they have definitely, where well, Elliot is, they've definitely done here. So me and Elliot are going to start walling this gap up. So there, so just a little bit before and then we'll just crack on getting it walled up and then I'll show you the after. So I'm just taking some posts down to David. Looks like he's hit his finger. Oops. 
Yes, that, that looks like somebody who's hit their finger with something. What you done? What have you done? You've done what? Hit finger on <laughs> Is it his finger? Oops. Joys of uh, fencing. So what you done? Caught my finger on that bloody stone as I've been pitching bar down. Oh. Not good. Your posts are here, mate. So an easy way of uh, pushing a post in is uh, using a Merlot bucket. And that just saves a bit of, uh, obviously the bucket's locked in. That's it. Saves a lot of uh, hammering with the post knocker. So the wall's getting up a bit now. We've put a through, what you call a through, a big piece of stone that goes from one side to the other. And that's like, it, this kind of helps to fix the wall, keeps it more stable. And it's just getting a load of fillings to put in. So yeah, so that's one that kind of joins the wall together. So it's a very important stone, a through stone. Sure, him what he want, actually wants, he's just done some beep, beep, beep and waved some hand signals. What do you want me to do? Oh, he wants, oh, wants me to, just stay there then. I don't want a bucket dropped on my head. Right. So he's trying to push this one down, but because there's quite a bit of stone near the wall, it's not going down. And that's the classic example of why you don't put a post near a stone wall. Heidi likes to do fencing as well. It's in a nice little warm Merlot. That was an easy post to go in. <laughs> he looks like Lord Muck in the Merlot. So yeah, so Elliot's just, oh, Elliot looks like he's banging his head on a piece of the branch. I'll go down and help Elliot with the cams. You know, a lot of starlings at the minute. I don't know if you can see them all, see them all flying. Look at them there. It's not so bad when you're walking around. It doesn't feel that cold. What are you done? You banged your head. You hold it. Well done. I think this, we need to move just one of those cams. I think. So it's not a perfect. Um, wall but it'll do for now and obviously once we get the top wire on hopefully the sheep won't be up it and we won't um they won't be upsetting the neighbors apparently this is called a spinning jenny which this is the first time i've ever heard of it hold it properly Elliot. she might it might stab you yeah and that's what goes on the wire, which helps with putting the wire out. And that goes on top. All very exciting stuff. But at least it saves me again flicked in the eye with the wire. And there's, and there's Jenny, just about to spin. But she's tied up a little bit. Yeah, and it's walking. Walking the way, look, there's Jenny. Woohoo! Jenny's got stuck. Move I'll move the bike. And there she's spinning. Woohoo! And there's Elliot just taking the wire back down to the bottom. And I'm going back home to get some more posts. Leave these two guys here. So, in a month's time, this field will hopefully be full of lambs starting to be full of lambs. I do like this field. I've always, I always like this field and it's a really nice field for lambing in. We usually lamb a lot of twins in here. So I've got some more uh, posts. I'm going to go back to the field now and uh, hopefully we'll get all top wired and uh, I'll be back around the farm again. Another job that we do at this time of year is um, we start picking sticks up 
around the field and this is so that when this grows up after lambing time um, that we haven't got all sticks in the silage so I'm just starting that while they're doing their little bit David Ellett's just unwinding the spinning jenny and David's just putting that top wire securing that top wire and I'm already starting my biggest bag of sticks even and I use these to um, start my fire so it's like a full circle again teamwork makes the dream work so David and Elliot are rolling out the barbed wire I'm going to move out of the way while I'm doing my little job and that's going to go in between the top wire and the wall and hopefully this barbed wire will stop the ratching sheep. So David's just using some wire tighteners for this barbed wire. He does also call them monkey. What do you also, what was it? Monkeys. Monkeys. Never heard that before. But anyway, so he's fixing the barbed wire onto these wire tighteners and he'll pull it round from this main post here. And hopefully we'll get it quite tight. This is a bit that he's pulling it to. Watch your eyes. Keep and we're going to cape out of the way because I don't fancy it flicking back in my face. And then it should work and then we'll just um, nail it up. I mean staple it up, not nail it up, staple it up. What am I talking about? So that's it, the wall's done. Got the top, top wire here. And also this is nice and tight. So all being well, this should climb up. Um, and then this wall hopefully should, uh, should stop them for a few years. So got my little bag of sticks, like Eagle Piggle. Can you just wait there? Right. our fencing done for today and um, I'm just going to call it a day here thanks again for watching and uh, if you like watching please subscribe um, click the like button and uh, comment and share if you can and uh, we'll see you soon hopefully at the end of this week some more content bye for now